Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new here. I have been gone for nearly a month. Um, so if you're new here, you won't know that this is a worm composting channel, but if you're not new here, then you know that I've been gone for an extended amount of time due to um, having a COVID problem while I was on vacation. So, uh, we're going to check in on the African night crawlers that are in this vermi bag little mammoth. And we'll see what they've been doing. Um, I have been gone for a good long time, so we, I don't imagine we'll find very much in the way of leftover food. So we will definitely have a lot to look at and a lot to investigate. So looking right here on top, uh, there wasn't anybody looking in on the worms while I was gone, so I do expect it to be kind of dry. Even though this room doesn't have an air conditioner in it, I imagine it's going to be kind of dry. So we'll push all of the dry stuff off to the side. Looks like they're making, oh, look at that, inside the ginger. I'm so excited. They are inside the ginger. <laughs> Finally making progress on that. But this is horribly dry, so we are definitely going to have to add a lot, a lot of water to this to get this back where it was going. And it looks like I've got some mycelium going here. I must have put something in here, perhaps that was wheat-based. I don't remember. But we'll kind of put that off to the side for the things that are food that need to be rehydrated. Kind of just start a pile over here. Got my sticks. So it's starting to feel better once I get to the middle here and I am seeing, you know, that there are some worms. So that's good. They did have a way to get down deep. And then also in my absence, they have been attacking that ginger. So I'm pretty happy about that. I was honestly thinking that it was never going to go. Um, but let's see. Yep, they're inside all of it. Yay, good worms. So, um, unfortunately, due to the dryness of most of everything, the worms probably will have shrunk down a little bit, probably have not been reproducing like they usually do. Um, there's about 10 to 15 pounds in this bin, uh, usually. Um, so I imagine that that has been sacrificed a little bit in my absence, um, either in size or in number. But that is life, and that is what this channel is about. It's not so much me telling you that I'm an expert in worm raising, so much as this is a chronicle of my life um, as a worm farmer and uh, what happens, you know, when life happens. And one of the things in life that happens is you catch COVID in a foreign country and you get stuck there because the government won't let you leave. That's life. That's life nowadays anyway. So it looks like they're doing a lot of good work here with the castings. We've got really good castings. We should be able to go ahead and uh, harvest this again here in another week or so. So the next check will probably be um, a harvest as well as a feed. Not seeing a ton of worms here, but I expect they're down deeper where it has a lot of moisture. And uh, I'm really not going to go digging quite that far. So we'll take our leftovers here and move them over and dig through this side of, of the, you know, of the bin. Again, super dry. I'm going to go grab some of my water that has been evaporating for a while. Of all the weird things I find in my uh, worm bins, uh, a stylus for something really strange. So we're gonna put this old stuff on here. I'm gonna get some water and then we're gonna feed them up. Okay, so now I normally don't advocate really just pouring, but since this is so dry, I am gonna pour, but then I'm gonna kind of fluff as I pour so that I know that I'm not overwhelming the system. Now this is tap water and um, I have let this rest for several days so that the chlorine can evaporate. So you can tell just how 
very dry this is. I imagine the next time we check in on these worms, they'll be in a lot better shape. Um, it's, it's not unusual to have these kind of problems when you have a worm bin. Life just happens, and if you're perfect, that's great, but I'm not, and many, 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 many people are also not perfect. And you do have these problems with the change in uh, the seasons, as well as, you know, if there is sickness or vacations or, or, you know, just whatever life throws at you that, you know, leads you to not be the best worm mom or dad in the world. Um, so that's why I, you know, I show you this, you know, when I make these mistakes or when I have these problems, I take you along with me because, you know, it's, it's normal. Don't freak out. Don't bash your head against the wall. You know, I've done something so horrible, you know, but it's recoverable. You can recover from this. As dry as that was, um, it is recoverable. So I've added an entire gallon or about four liters of water uh, to this bin. I don't want to add any more. I'm going to let it soak in and I'll check on it in probably another couple of days and see if it needs some more. Um, but we probably won't bring you back for that. So their food for today is going to be some frozen bananas, some melon, and actually I was going to feed them something dry, but let me get some water to make this wet first before I feed it to them. They've got enough problems. So this is actually, Aunt Cece has moved from the area and cleaned out her cabinets. So this is a mixture of pretzels, animal crackers, and uh, fortune cookies that are, you know, all super stale and everything. And I figure since the fortune cookies are um, just, you know, sugar, and the, the fortune itself is just on paper, I think it'll be okay. Uh, put your thoughts below. Have you ever fed cookies or, or anything like that to them? Um, I know it seems like a waste, but they're, you know, a couple, couple years beyond their expiration date. That's the kind of crazy things you find when you're moving. So I'm going to go ahead and put those crackers in there. And then, of course, this particular bin does get clippings from the my son's fish tank. So we're going to give those. So some algae and some leaves from house plants. And then we're going to give them quite a bit in the way of bedding. This bedding should go super fast because it's almost two or three months old now that it's been resting. So that will be good. That'll give them something easy to eat. Alrighty then, that looks pretty good. If you want to see the video from before and see what we ate last time, I will link that over there. And I also have a playlist for the African night crawlers over here. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.